Gentlemen, welcome back to the wife's little Japanese tuk-tuk. And uh, yeah, you know, wings, no. Wheels, check. Tits, no. One of those, so definitely, well, you know the deal. If it's got either one of those, it's gonna give you trouble. And this apparently is giving us trouble. Now, I'm used to, you know, I grew up driving old clapped out Fords and Jimmys and all that sort of stuff, so. Kind of used to having broken down vehicles. The wife, however, what with growing up on the good side of the tracks, always had a reliable vehicle. So when something goes wrong, I'm the first to hear about it. Let's see what's going on here. Apparently it's about to blow up, according to her. Starts up just fine. And check engine light is on. Oh, you see that there? Now, so in this case, uh, we don't know what the problem is. So we'll just hit the throttle here. We'll hit the throttle here. Hit the throttle here. Nothing happening. Okay. Okay. So I would say, just off the top of my head, you do the easiest thing first. Chances are it's a throttle position sensor or something. Now, diagnostic trouble code, enter. Fault 03, or number of faults 03. So let's scroll down. I don't know what that means. Pair. No idea. Let's see what that is. There we go. There's your trouble right there. It's a P2126. Now I referred to the second most troubleshooting important tool. The gargler, of course, the hive mind. And uh, sure enough, that code comes up. It says there's a sensor right in here. And uh, I took a screenshot of it. So essentially it's a potentiometer, you can see. And it's got a pull down resistor in there. That means it's gotta go high. When I fully apply it, it starts to actually pick up, but it doesn't It doesn't do it for about three quarters of the way. That tells me there's high resistance somewhere in here, either internally and the whole sensor needs to be replaced, or maybe just a connection. However, this, is, this vehicle has been babied, um, so I, I don't see why at the Deutsch connector or whatever they call it in, in automotive applications, why there would be any corrosion, but we're gonna have a look-see. Well, there she blows the cork for dolly. Son of a diddly. Look at this. It's all plastic. Junk. Junk. It's brand new. It's already busted. In my day, this was all cast iron. 80 pounds of her. Well, in any case, this is an interesting piece of engineering here. Fomoco, out of a Mazda, of course. Ford Motor Company owns them. Made in Germany. Polypropylene glass fiber reinforced 50%. Holy skookum as hell. They must run through the molds like crazy on this. Made by Hela, Hela, subcontractor, I guess. Those guys make lights too. And this, the pedal itself, with the matrix here just to stiffen it up, it's nice and stiff. That heavy detent in there and a, a mechanical stop. This is polyamid, so nylon, glass fiber reinforced 40%. Now in tools, like the bodies of tools, we normally see 30% uh, glass fiber reinforcing. So, fairly scoop and part and expensive too, because they, as I said, they run through the mold. It would just wear that H13 tool steel mold right out. Okay, let's get into the guts of her, see if we can't fix her well. Okay, we're in. And not even close to what I expected. Let's get on the mechanical side here. Two heavy springs, paralleled. And then even got yeah, details, man, details. Open cell neoprene foam, what for reducing the rattle trap effect. Very nice. And this isn't a potentiometer at all. It's some sort of rotary encoder. Uh, not a resolver, but yeah, an encoder. But it's all solid state. There's four lines and there's some... There's some passive devices in there, so I assume there's going to be... Yeah, well, there has to be a microcontroller in there as well. So what would probably happen, looking looking by this, is it's looking at the impedance. It puts in a signal, a pulse width modulated signal, so turning off and on really quick. And then it checks the impedance of this on, uh, a, a, on two different outputs to see where this is actually positioned and what what direction it's moving in if it's accelerating or decelerating all sorts of stuff like that so 
If that is not a chuching, there is very little we can do about that. Doesn't mean I'm not going to try though. Now, in the vein of it's already fucked, you can't fuck it anymore. I had to do some destructive dismounting in order to get the PCB out. I don't see anything wrong with it. We'll do a few little checks here quickly. Now, caveat, it doesn't necessarily have to be this that's faulty. It could be a connection or it could be the main engine ECM or whatever module controls this that talks to the engine ECM. Uh, so probably wasn't the best idea to go at this with the hacksaw right off the hop, but you know, it's almost lunchtime. So we'll just do the quick visual checks here. No shit stains on her. Just a couple of apprentice marks where I had to yard on her to get her out. I don't see any Hershey squirts, so nothing burnt up on there. We'll just check the protection diode on here quick. We have our meter and diode range. That's good. And that's if you, uh, if for some reason, you make the ground positive and the positive ground, it doesn't fry every electronic thing in the, in the car. So that's fine. We check some capacitors and some resistors and stuff. Let's go with capacitors. Nothing wrong there. Nothing wrong there. Nothing wrong there. And the other thing we can do is use the glare off an uh, incident light that's coming in at a very steep or small angle. And we'll be able to see any pinholes that got blasted in the black resin in case something blew up. Well, I had to pull out the soldering iron and I got the board soldered now and uh, we're going to just hook her up to 12 volts and see if we let the smoke out or what. And if we don't let the smoke out, we're going to try and get some signaling out of this. And there doesn't appear to be anything going on there. Dead, dead, dead. No, oh, that can't be. I must not have it hooked up right because otherwise when I mounted the throttle there would have been no response. Nothing would have happened. So I obviously don't have the pin out right. You know, what are you going to do? Well, gentlemen, I'm a little conflicted because where we're at after an exhaustive 45 second search on the internet there, the gargler came up nothing with the pin out for this. I can't really properly test it. That means I can't really properly say that absolutely 100% this is hooped. That means that i got to throw a part at it, unfortunately. I do not like throwing parts at it. I like to get to the root cause. It's uh, incredibly cheap, though. Incredibly cheap. 100 bucks. I, I, I don't... Like, I'm from the industrial side. This costs an arm and a day. You'd be into five grand for something like this if we were on a... A triple seven haul truck or some sort of uh, mezzo mineral crusher or something but yeah so that's where it's at we're throwing parts at her thanks for watching keep your dick in advice wish me luck eh i'll keep you posted